What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about curtain walls in Revit. So curtain walls in Revit, more precisely I'm going to be talking about placing doors and windows on curtain walls in Revit. Now placing doors and windows on curtain walls in Revit, it's a bit more difficult than placing them on regular walls. On regular walls it's super easy, it's just one command, you place it, it's done. But for curtain walls first you have to use specialized doors and windows and then uh, replace patterns. Panels, uh, curtain panels with them and then also you have to make some adjustments to the curtain grid depending on the door or window that you're going to be inserting. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about some of my uh, methodology when approaching placing doors and windows on uh, curtain walls in Revit and also some of the best practices, tips, tricks and uh, hacks that I learned along the way when working with curtain walls uh, in Revit. But now before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week and I make multiple tutorials and also I make some advanced courses. Uh, now uh, this week I uploaded a part 3 of my office building in Revit uh, advanced course. So that's the third hour in. I'm showing you an office building in Revit, a multi-story office building in Revit from start to finish. So everything you need to know about creating a project like this and there I went in depth into creating a curtain wall, adjusting the curtain grid and all of that and this is just some of the tips and tricks that I show there but if you want more information on something like this check that out that's on my Patreon first a link in the description of this video so you can sign up there get access to all of the courses as well as all of my uh, Revit project files like the file that I'm going to be using now and uh, pretty much all of my files like over 300 files so far. Okay, with that little kind of plug out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So let me switch to my computer screen over here. As you can see, I'm using uh, Revit 2020. I'm just going to go here and start a new model or a new project. I'm going to use the architectural template for uh, this uh, project now as soon as Revit loads. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now that Revit is loaded, what I'm going to do first is just set the units. So just type in UN and then I like to change the units to uh, centimeters and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and now let's place a curtain wall. So just go here to walls, oops, uh, to walls and I'm just going to choose a storefront curtain wall and let's just place one of them over here. Okay, now let's go into 3D and this is what we have. So if this was a regular wall, we could just go here to door and then place it here. As you can see, doors don't work on curtain walls. So again, if you go here in the floor plan, you can place a door there and if you want to go with a window, you can't place a window either, so it's useless. Okay, so what's the approach? So let's go with a simple door. Well, for the door, what you need to do is you need to go and select an individual panel here. So as you can see, these uh, uh, curtain walls are made out of these mullions. Those are these separations, uh, these things. There we go. And the panels. So panels are these things. So if you want to select one of these, just uh, hover over the kind of the, the line and then hit the tab key a few times until the window highlights and then you can click. Now as you can see here it's pinned in place but we can unpin it and then here we have some properties for that and I, if I open that up here you can see it, we've got glazed and solid for options and we also have an empty for option. So empty means it's an empty space and uh, solid and glazed well uh, I think it makes sense solid is just like default material now we need to place a door there so for a door what you need to do is you need to load in a curtain panel family so for that I'm going to go here to the insert tab go into load family here go back one folder to get the US metric library go to doors and then the first three yeah they are curtain uh, they are curtain uh, curtain doors or curtain wall doors. Now we have a single door and we have a double door, so I'm going to show you both of them. So let me load both of them in, hit OK, and there we go. Now let me select that panel again. Okay, it was this one. And now I'm just going to open up this drop menu, go with this door. Now as you can see, we have the double door and the single door. So let's go with the single door family and now it's replaced. Now you don't really see any changes. The reason for that is the detail level. So currently it's set to medium, but if I set it to coarse, uh, or sorry, fine, 
There we go. So now we have a door handle. Now uh, this door, as you can see, it's pretty much the same dimension as the uh, kind of the, the the distance between two mullions or the, these two grid lines. So if I go here into level one. There is the door, so it does have the like the the traditional uh, like door shape or door opening here. Uh, but if we take a look at this, let's select one of these grid lines. So basically, this is the access line for the mullion. So if I select it, I can see the number here, and it's 140 centimeters, which for a regular door is way too much. So how do we make this smaller? Well, we need to change this, and as you can see, we can't move it. We have to unpin it first, and then we can move it. So you can move it like that, or select here. And let's go with 90 centimeters, that's regular for a door, and then you move it in, and there we go. So if I go into 3D now, as you can see, we've moved this mullion kind of in, and we have this door over here. Now you can play around with other mullions, so you can create a... a, a I guess a nice representation of this curtain wall. This looks a bit weird with this big panel over here. Now for this door one more thing that you need to fix is this bottom mullion. In this case if you were going over this you would probably kind of a trip over it so you need to get rid of this one so just unpin it and then hit delete and now door goes all the way down to the ground. And now it looks correct. Now what to do if you have to have a double door? So for the double door, uh, let's go ahead here and take a look. So we can't really use one of these, we actually have to use two openings and let's actually set that up in the floor plan. So let's go over here, uh, let's unpin this one, let's say this is 90 centimeters and then unpin this one and say this is 90 centimeters. So we want these two panels to be a double door these two but we have this thing running through the middle so we can't place it because if I were to just select one of these panels unpin it go with that uh, double door it would look like this and that's not what a double door should look like so what I'm going to do instead is just go back and go back once again okay there we go so what you can do is uh, you can go here and select the whole uh, access line so as you can see you have to kind of uh, tab into that, so don't select the mullion, tab a few times until you get this kind of uh, dashed line in the middle and then you select it and it looks like this, it's currently unpinned and you go here to add remove segments and then you just remove this segment, there we go and now it merged these two glass panels together and now we just have to get rid of the uh, bottom mullion and there are two mullions just because it used to be two pieces of glass so let's get rid of the second one again I'm just using the tab key to toggle through selection and there we go so now we can select this one panel unpin it and then place a double door over there and there we go that's what a double door looks like now you don't have to go with a regular double door, you can use maybe some advanced doors or whatever. So you can find those online and I'm actually going to include them on my Patreon. So first link in the description, I'm going to include more families. So for example, let me go here to a load family and then I'm going to go to desktop and uh, here families, curtain wall panels and I actually have this cool like rotation door thing and if I just select this thing and place that door here we go we have that revolving door in Revit and it looks like that looks cool okay so there we go that's how you place doors now what do you do about windows here uh, this curtain wall is well it's a big piece of glass but a gl piece of glass is not a window a window should probably uh, have an option to open so how do you create uh, windows in Revit well windows are also for curtain walls they are placed in as panels now usually these panels are uh, quite large sometimes they will go from the top to bottom of your uh, of your floor. So what I like to do is I like to separate one of these panels. Uh, so let's say we want to place a window over here but we don't want it to be the full height of this panel. So what I like to do is go to here to architecture then go to curtain grid and we have this one segment option. So you just hover over one of the vertical uh, grid lines and then you get a uh, basically a curtain grid, uh, a horizontal line. So you can place it like this and then let's say this will act in as a sill like a parapet and then this panel if I just hit the tab key a few times and unpin it I can place a window here now of course we need to load in a window so again insert tab load family and then let's uh, go back to the imperial 
library. Okay, US metric. Let's go to Windows. And the first one here says curtain wall awing uh, window. So that's the one that we want to use. Open that up and uh, okay, it's loaded in. So just select this panel, open up the drop menu, search for that awing. And there we go. This is what that looks like. So we have a window and if I were to go to, I don't know where that is, level 2 probably. Okay, let me just bring down level 2 so we can see it, like 300. Okay, so hopefully now it will be visible in level 2. There we go, so we have this window and we can actually flip it to from one side to the other depending on where you're placing these uh, these windows. So that's pretty much it. That's basically the approach to placing windows and doors on curtain walls. Now I have multiple tutorials. Uh, I actually have a tutorial where I show you how to create a window that actually opens up uh, on this curtain wall, which is kind of cool. And also if you want to go in depth into curtain walls, placing elements, understanding panels, Smallions, things like that. I have a course on that. I, I'm doing a whole office building, so go to my Patreon. First link in the description, get access to that course or any of my other advanced courses. I have like 30 hours of content so far, and I'm uploading a new hour each week, so check that out. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial, and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial in a few days. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.